As a journalism expert, delving into the multifaceted tapestry of Rebby Jackson's lifestyle is like embarking on a captivating adventure through the corridors of fame and fortune. With an illustrious career that has left an indelible mark on entertainment history, Rebby Jackson is considered a symbol of resilience and artistic ability. From the glittering ranks of property to the luxurious residences she called home, and the shiny cars that punctuated her journeys, aspects of Rebby Jackson's life provide insight a kaleidoscopic glimpse into the glamorous world of celebrity invites us to explore the interplay between wealth, success and the pursuit of personal fulfillment. All the details you need are right in this video. Let's dive in now. As of early 2024, Rebby Jackson, an esteemed American singer, has amassed a net worth of $2,500,000. Born into the illustrious Jackson family, she holds the distinction of being their eldest child. Her journey into the spotlight began by sharing the stage with her siblings, a notable feat considering the family's iconic status in the entertainment realm. One pivotal moment in Rebby's career came in the 1980s when she decided to venture into a solo path. Breaking away from the collective performances with her siblings, she embarked on her solo career with the release of her debut album, Centipede. This marked a significant turning point, showcasing her individual talent and paving the way for her unique musical identity. Following the success of Centipede, Rebby continued to captivate audiences with subsequent albums. Among these notable releases were Reaction, Rue Tough Enough, and Yours Faithfully. Each album represented a chapter in Rebby's musical evolution, demonstrating her versatility and ability to resonate with listeners across different genres and themes. Rebby's contributions to the music industry extend beyond her familial ties, as she has carved out a distinct legacy of her own. Her enduring presence and unwavering dedication to her craft have earned her recognition and admiration from fans around the world. Through her music, Rebby Jackson continues to inspire and uplift leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of popular culture. Rebby Jackson was born as Maureen Jackson on May 29, 1950 in Gary, Indiana. She entered the world as the first daughter of Joseph Walter, Joe, and Catherine Esther Jackson, joining a family of ten children. Growing up in a working-class household, Rebby experienced the rhythm of life in a bustling steel mill town. Her father, Joseph, toiled in the steel mills by day and found solace in music by night, performing in a rhythm and blues band called the Falcons alongside his brother Luther. Meanwhile, her mother Catherine, a devout Jehovah's Witness, instilled the values of faith and family in her children, including Rebbe, Latoya, and Michael, who became deeply entrenched in their religious beliefs. Despite the demands of a large family, Rebbe shouldered responsibilities beyond her years, assuming the role of a second mother to her younger siblings. Alongside her eldest brother, Jackie, she cared for and nurtured the brood, shaping her into a pillar of strength and support within the Jackson household. Rebby's path to professional acclaim began to take shape in 1974 when she joined her siblings on stage in Las Vegas, marking the genesis of her musical journey. As the Jackson Five rose to prominence, Rebby stood by their side, lending her voice and talent to their performances. However, it was the transition to CBS Records and the renaming of the group as the Jacksons that signaled a new chapter for the family's musical legacy. In 1976, the Jackson siblings, excluding Jermaine, took center stage in the groundbreaking CBS variety show, The Jacksons. The series, a pioneering venture featuring an African-American family, showcased the family's charisma and talent to a global audience. For Rebby, the show ignited a newfound passion for singing, propelling her from the sidelines to the forefront of the music scene. Inspired by her television experience and fueled by her love for musicals, Rebby embraced her calling as a professional recording artist. Her journey, however, faced a brief interruption with the arrival of her second pregnancy, momentarily putting her music career on hold. Yet, her spirit remained undeterred, laying the groundwork for a remarkable resurgence in the years to come. Her debut album, Centipede, emerged in October 1984 under Columbia Records, marking her solo debut after years of familial and personal considerations. The decision to delay the album's release until her family life was settled showcased her commitment to balancing career aspirations with personal responsibilities. Centipede swiftly made its mark, climbing to number 13 on Billboard's Top R&B Hip Hop Albums chart and securing the 63rd spot on the Top 200 chart. The album's standout track, the titular, Centipede, emerged as a million-selling sensation. Crafted by her iconic brother Michael, 
The song featured backing vocals from Michael himself and the Weather Girls, soaring to number four on the Black Singles chart and earning recognition from the Recording Industry Association of America. For Rebbe, Centipede wasn't just a debut, it was a milestone in establishing herself as a bona fide recording artist. Jet Magazine hailed her ascent, recognizing her talent and potential for continued success. With this album, Rebbe became the final Jackson sibling to embark on a recording career, proving that talent ran deep within the family ranks. Behind the scenes, discussions arose about Rebbe using the Jackson surname professionally. Initially hesitant, she later embraced her heritage, acknowledging the significance of her family legacy. Her compromise to prominently feature, Rebbe, over, Jackson, on the album cover reflected her desire to carve her own identity while honoring her roots. Rebbe's confidence in her own abilities remained steadfast, unaffected by the monumental successes of her siblings Michael and Janet. In October 1986, Rebbe followed up, Centipede, with her next album, Reaction, recorded at Tito's Ponderosa Studios in Los Angeles, California. Collaborating with David Conley and David Townsend of R&B group Surface, Tito Jackson produced the album. While tracks like, You Send the Rain Away, a collaboration with Robin Zander, and the soulful ballad, Tonight I'm Yours. Featuring Isaac Hayes, showcased Rebbe's vocal range, it was the title track, Reaction, that emerged as the album's most popular hit, reaching number 16 on the R&B singles chart. Rebbe Jackson's musical journey continued with the release of her album, Rue Tough Enough, in July 1988, following the success of, Reaction. This album marked a significant evolution for Jackson, as she took on a more active role in its production, aiming to craft a sound that differed from her previous works. During the distribution of Rue Tough Enough, Jackson expressed that the album showcased a new versatility in her music, blending various styles while maintaining a strong dance music presence. This departure from her earlier sound highlighted her commitment to exploration and growth as an artist. Are You Tough Enough? produced two singles that made waves on the R&B singles chart, Plaything, which soared into the top 10, and the album's title track, Rue Tough Enough, reaching a respectable peak at number 78. By mid, by June 1988, the album had sold 300,000 copies, confirming Jackson's enduring appeal and fanbase. Despite initial success, MTV later noted that, Rue Tough Enough, faced challenges in gaining momentum. Despite this, Jackson's collaboration on 2300 Jackson Street, the title track of her brother's album, showcased her continued involvement in the music scene. Following the release of Rue Tough Enough, Jackson took a hiatus from releasing music but remained active in the industry. Performing around the world, her dedication to her craft and her willingness to explore new musical horizons underscored her status as a resilient and versatile artist. After a hiatus spanning seven years, Rebbe Jackson made a triumphant return to the music scene with a cover of Bob Dylan's Forever Young for the 1995 film Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home. Her haunting rendition marked her re-entry into the limelight, paving the way for her subsequent endeavors. In a significant turn of events, Rebbe signed with MJJ Music, her brother Michael's record label, signaling a new chapter in her career. Her first album in a decade, Yours Faithfully, hit the shelves on March 31, 1998, captivating audiences with its blend of nostalgia and contemporary flair. The inclusion of a remixed version of her earlier hit, Centipede, added a touch of familiarity to the album, reaffirming Jackson's enduring legacy. Yours Faithfully also featured notable collaborations, including a soulful duet with Spanky Williams of Men of Vision on the Spinner's classic, I Don't Want to Lose You. Jet Magazine praised the track as a hot performance, highlighting Jackson's ability to breathe new life into timeless melodies. The album's title track emerged as a single, peaking at number 78 on the R&B chart, further cementing Rebbe's place in the music industry. Tragedy struck the Jackson family with the untimely passing of Michael on June 25, 2009. His memorial service, held on July 7, brought together loved ones and fans alike in a poignant tribute to the King of Pop. Rebbe, alongside her siblings and Michael's children, delivered a heartfelt performance of his anthems, We Are the World, and Heal the World, offering solace in a time of mourning. Following the service, Rebbe, Janet, and Latoya addressed fans, expressing gratitude for the overwhelming support. 
Amidst speculation about her role as caregiver for Michael's children, Rebbe remained a pillar of strength for her family, embodying resilience in the face of adversity. Ultimately, their grandmother Catherine was appointed as their legal guardian in August 2009. In early 2011, Rebbe announced her return to the studio, igniting anticipation for her first album in 14 years. Her performances across the United States showcased a repertoire spanning her own hits, tributes to her brother, and beloved Motown classics, reaffirming her status as a captivating performer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the part we're looking forward to the most. We take you on a tour of her exclusive residence now. Mansion in Lake Village, California. Nestled in the serene outskirts of Lake Village, California, lies the tranquil abode of Rebbe Jackson, an oasis of calm amidst the bustling world. Known simply as West House, this sprawling estate spans an impressive 4,000 square meters, boasting an air of elegance and refinement that captivates all who enter its doors. At first glance, West House exudes an aura of understated luxury, its spacious interiors adorned with tasteful furnishings and meticulous attention to detail. From the cozy bedroom quarters accommodating up to four individuals to the impeccably modern bathroom facilities. Every facet of Rebbe's residence exudes a timeless charm reminiscent of the golden age of Hollywood. Yet, it is not merely the opulence of its interiors that sets West House apart, but rather its seamless integration with the natural splendor that surrounds it. Enveloped by a verdant canopy of towering trees, the estate's expansive grounds offer a sanctuary from the chaos of modern life. A place where time seems to stand still amidst the rustling leaves and gentle whispers of the wind. For Rebbe Jackson, West House is more than just a dwelling it is a refuge from the demands and pressures of the outside world. A place where she can retreat into the embrace of nature and find solace in its quietude. Here, amidst the tranquil landscape of her estate, she finds respite from the relentless pace of life, cherishing moments of serenity amidst the harmonious symphony of the natural world. Dear audience, in addition to being a talented singer and actress, she is also extremely kind and warm and has participated in countless charity activities. Philanthropy Rebbe Jackson's influence extends far beyond the realms of music, as her philanthropic endeavors shine brightly in the realm of charitable work. Among the causes close to her heart stands Autism Speaks, an organization dedicated to raising awareness and advocating for individuals and families impacted by autism. Rebbe's commitment to autism research and awareness is unwavering. She actively participates in Autism Speaks walks and fundraising events, lending her voice to amplify the cause and raise crucial funds for the organization. Her efforts contribute to fostering understanding and support for those affected by autism spectrum disorder. Beyond her involvement with Autism Speaks, Rebbe lends her support to the Starlight Children's Foundation, a global charity committed to improving the lives and health of children and families. The Foundation's initiatives span more than 600 hospitals, clinics, specialty camps, and hospices in the United States and Puerto Rico, reaching over 27 million pediatric visits annually. Through her advocacy, Rebbe helps bring joy and relief to children facing health challenges. The American Cancer Society ACTS, also benefits from Rebbe's philanthropy. Dedicated to cancer prevention, saving lives, and alleviating suffering, the ACTS conducts vital research, offers information services, advocates for policy changes, and provides community programs and services. Notably, Rebbe supports Hope Lodge, which offers free housing to adults undergoing cancer treatment, easing the burden of their journey. Rebbe's compassion extends to the Children's Defense Fund CDF, which works tirelessly to ensure every child has a fair and healthy start in life. The organization advocates for the needs of underprivileged, minority, and disabled children, striving to create a supportive environment for their growth and development. Through her support, Rebbe stands as a beacon for children's rights and welfare. Additionally, Rebbe contributes to promoting global peace and prosperity through her involvement with the United Nations Foundation. By fostering innovative partnerships and providing support for pressing health, humanitarian, socioeconomic, and environmental issues, the Foundation works to build a better world for future generations. Through her advocacy and support, she brings hope, healing, and opportunity to countless individuals and communities, leaving an enduring legacy of kindness and generosity. But dear viewers, the story is still there. Her career journey is also admirable and deserves to never be forgotten. Right? Surely you are very curious about her personal life? Join us to find out below. Personal Life In late 1968, 
Rebbie Jackson made a significant choice that altered the course of her life she married her childhood sweetheart, Nathaniel Brown. Their love story, filled with dreams and hopes, became the foundation of both her personal and professional journey. However, this decision also revealed the complexities of navigating family dynamics in the entertainment industry, especially under the watchful eye of patriarch Joe Jackson. The path to marriage was fraught with challenges, particularly from Rebbie's father, Joe. Initially, Joe opposed the idea of Rebby getting married, fearing it would hinder her potential success in show business. He envisioned a spotlight-filled future for Rebby, akin to her famous siblings, and marriage seemed like an obstacle to that vision. Despite Joe's reservations, Rebby's determination to marry Nathaniel prevailed. Over time, Joe softened his stance, recognizing the depth of his daughter's love. Nevertheless, tensions lingered, highlighting the intricate dynamics of family relationships in the public eye. On the day of the wedding, a poignant moment unfolded, Joe Jackson chose not to walk Rebby down the aisle. This decision underscored the clash between tradition, ambition, and personal fulfillment, reflecting the complexities of familial bonds in the face of diverging paths. With Nathaniel Brown by her side, Rebby embarked on a journey marked by love, commitment, and the joys of motherhood. Together, they welcomed three children into their family, Stacy Brown, born May 5, 1971, Yashi Brown, born October 5, 1977, Austin Brown, born November 22, 1985. Among their children, Austin Brown emerged as a notable figure in the music industry, following in the footsteps of his talented family. As a singer, songwriter, and record producer, Austin contributed to the rich musical legacy of the Jacksons, carrying forward their tradition of excellence. Tragically, in early 2013, Nathaniel Brown's battle with cancer reached its heartbreaking conclusion. And he passed away. His loss was deeply felt by Rebby Jackson and her family, marking a moment of profound sorrow and reflection. Nathaniel's passing served as a reminder of life's fragility and the enduring bonds that unite a family, even in the face of adversity. Through love, loss, and resilience, Rebby Jackson's personal journey embodies the depth of human emotion and the enduring power of family ties. Her story embodies the strength found in love and the lasting legacy of those we love. Thank you for watching the entire video. Please leave your comments in the section below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.